hello, hello, hello. Sandy was MIA yesterday, but what a magnificent day. And I really believe things were gonna get better in our very, very distressed little town. There's oh, more and more and more layoffs coming in the oil and gas industry. So Fort Nelson, good morning. Hi, darling, I so love you. So Fort Nelson was, was created uh, based in oil and gas back in, you know, well, it was the Alaska Highway, the building of the Alaska Highway, of course. Good morning, darling. Um, and, and so, but really Fort Nelson itself as it stands today was created back in mid 1960s with West Coast Energy. And that's, you know, in the late 60s that a lot of our, our, you know, condo units were built in apartment buildings and then, and then they had executive houses. Well, West Coast has, has sold several times and, and in all of that, you know, it's a business. And so there are some really crazy layoffs that have been going on and well shut-ins and conventional gas and, and it's just very distressed. And so our community, we are nine full years and and running in this like economic tsunami it is just a nightmare but there is some very exciting stuff going on in our wood industry which is interesting because in back in 2008 our both of our mills were closed and mass layoffs at but oil and gas picked up then so we really didn't get the economic smack that really you know that maybe you know normally would have happened so now to to see it sort of be the hero and bring back hundreds of jobs to our community so that's very exciting so if you need a great real estate agent i know one <laughs> <laughs> buy something here because it's it's just brilliant right now to do it because this will be you know that that whole in business buying at the bottom and you know and then flipping so so yeah <laughs> how's that for a plug <laughs> love 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 it all right chapter two conclusion good morning i'm so sorry i didn't find that key i thought i had one in my car Ugh. That's it. Anyways, so so the Olympian who got his shoes stolen, and you know, instead of reasons why he couldn't show up, he dug through garbage to find two different shoes, had to wear an extra sock. Like those are the sorts of things and people that definitely the billionaire mindset. It's like, okay, shitty, what happens? You know, what do we do now? And and so very admirable. Thank you for sharing, Miss Marie. I love you so much. So so the end, this is gonna be a kind of a quick one because I am supposed to be on a call right now and then I have school for the morning. So very busy and taking the day out yesterday, of course, you know, it's just, well, most of the day anyways, but awesome, awesome day. I'm just so happy to get to be a part of it. It's just super exciting. All right. So I did not get either of those above stories. The pastor with the guy, you know, who had faced a lot of adversity and loss in his life, nor the Olympian. And at the time, so I didn't get either of the above stories early in my bankruptcy and my well attended pity party. I have no regrets as the darkness is where I found Sandy again. Today, oh, that almost made me cry oh okay whoa <laughs> hang on Sandy you've got a lot of stuff to do <laughs> all right today I barely recall what it felt like to hate my life honestly so if right at this moment things are hard life has kicked you in the face I promise keep reading keep going the sun is shining it may be well above those clouds but it's shining Things will get better, but only if you get better, my friend. First step, make a decision. Bitter or better, bankrupt or billionaire. Second step, get honest. I am here in this mess. <laughs> and it's going to take special attention and effort to get to where I really want to be. Third step, closely aligned to step steps one and two. 
is take responsibility. I am no victim. I am the consequences for a lifelong series of choices. My choices because of me and my conscious and unconscious choices. I stand here ready to face this worthy opponent. To end chapter two, here's another beautiful share from that incredible friend, Marie, that I introduced you to earlier. She says, a friend posted this and I think it's beautiful. I don't know where you sit in your beliefs, but the message is universal. Me, hey God, God, hello, me, I'm falling apart. Can you put me back together? God, I would rather not. Me, why? God, because you aren't a puzzle. Me, what about all the pieces of my life that are falling down on the ground? God, let them stay there for a while. They fell off for a reason. Take some time and decide if you need any of those pieces back. Me, you don't understand. I am breaking down. God, no. You don't understand. You are breaking through. What you are feeling are just growing pains. You are shedding the things and the people in your life that are holding you back. <laughs> oh, you are not falling apart. You are falling into place. Relax, take some deep breaths and allow those things you don't need anymore to fall off you. Quit holding on to pieces that don't fit you anymore. Let them fall off. Let them go. Me, once I start doing that, what will be left of me? God, only the very best pieces of you. Me, I'm scared of changing. God, I keep telling you, you aren't changing, you are becoming. Me, becoming who? God, becoming who I created you to be. A person of light and love and charity and hope and courage and joy and mercy and grace and compassion. I made you for more than the shallow pieces you have decided to adorn yourself with that you cling to with such greed and fear. Let those things fall off you. I love you. Don't change. Become, become, become who I made you to be. I'm going to keep telling you this until you remember it. Me, there goes another piece. God, yep, let it be. Me, so I'm not broken? God, of course not. But you are breaking like the dawn. It's a new day. Become. Author is John Rodell. If that is not absolutely, absolutely beautiful. It's... <laughs> Sandy, stop it! Stop, stop, stop! Oh, I am... Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> I love you. You know it.